Bruins captain, Hall of Famer, Ray Bork with us. Uh, Ray, welcome to Halifax. What does it mean for you to be here for this event today? Uh, it means that uh, we're here for a great cause, and we had a great night last night. We had the draft. We raised, uh, you know, uh, over $225,000 for the Churchill Academy, and uh, just an amazing year. And, and, you know, this is their first year, so, uh, you know, what they do with the kids uh, at that school is, is pretty special. And to be part of that, uh, you know, the initial first year and, and knowing that we're probably going to come back next year and this, this thing's going to grow and benefit uh, so many young kids that need it, um, it's, it's fun. I'm sure there's a lot of demands on your time all year long to come to events like this. What's it like for you when you go down the list of things that you can or can't go to? What makes you decide? Uh, schedule. If it works in my schedule, um, you know, uh, then then I come. I you know I do a lot of things with Jackson Event that does a great job. Uh, you know, so uh, got a great relationship with them. Uh, they throw something out there early enough. I lock it in and I come. And uh, I mean, Halifax is a pretty cool place to come. So whenever I have an opportunity to to come here and uh, you know if it could work in my schedule, I'll make it happen. Besides the great cause in the hockey and catching up with perhaps some old friends and meeting some new ones, what is your favorite part about coming to the East Coast in Halifax? Well, all those things you mentioned. You know, uh, a lot of us uh, kind of meet up at these events, uh, you know, guys that I played with or against. And you get to the guys that you played with, you obviously you know a little more about them. But the guys you played against, you get to know even more and share some stories and uh, just catch up on our lives and what's up with, uh, with ourselves now. But... Um, Really spending the whole day with uh, the team that drafts you, and you know we play three games. We tell stories, we laugh. Uh, you know they ask questions, and they you know they're all major hockey fans. So it's fun to be in that kind of environment and to try to kind of just connect with them. And that's probably the biggest part. When you see hockey players and sports fans, and fans in general, young and old, that still want to get a picture with you or talk to you or hear some of those stories, what does that mean to you? Well, when it's a young fan, I know that their, uh, their parents or their grandparents were big fans. Um, and that's pretty funny when a young guy comes up and he actually has got some knowledge on you, and that's pretty cool. But uh, connecting with the fans, uh, you know, it's always been a lot of fun. And, you know, uh, without the fans, we wouldn't have this great game of ours. So uh, I certainly appreciate them all. As a Habs fan, I would remiss if I didn't ask you about I was, too. <laughs> I grew up in Montreal, so... Until, until I went to Boston, I was a Canadians fan. I, I used to miss school <laughs> to go to the parades, and I was pretty spoiled as a kid growing up. I just remember in my Hall of Fame speech thanking a Montreal Canadian about making a young kid dream about the NHL someday. Uh, side question, who was your favorite Hab growing up? I liked the big three, Robinson, Savard, and LaPointe. Being a defenseman, uh, those guys just dominated. And it was a lot of fun just watching them. I didn't think I could like Ray Bork any more than I did, but I do after knowing that, being a Habs fan growing up. But just to circle back to the original question, when you get out here and you, you catch up with uh, a guy like Guy Carboneau, who you had so many classic battles with back in your Habs Bruins days, what are those memories like? And what kind of things do you guys still talk about? I still have flashbacks about Guy blocking so many of my shots from the point. He, I think his uh, save percentage was better than their goalies. Hard to believe in Montreal, right? But uh, him and Mike Keane, how they would kill penalties. And uh, Guy, just a, an amazing, uh, you know, all-round player. Face-offs, kill penalties, play last minute of the game. He could even, you know, spot on the power play. And uh, being a captain, being that kind of leader, and uh, getting to know Guy over the years. Uh, you know, playing against them, and I used to go back to Montreal in the summers, and you kind of, you know, every once in a while you'd run into these guys and chat a little bit, but when it got onto the uh, to business on the ice, Bruins and Canadians, uh, it, uh, it was quite a rivalry, and uh, it was fun to be part of, and on both sides of it, being a fan as a kid, and then once I was drafted, that all ended, and a lot of people followed me to Boston uh, to become Bruins fans, so it was, uh, it was interesting and fun. Last one for you, uh, for any young defenseman coming up, what would be a couple of pieces of advice that you would give them to help grow and mature their game? Um, I mean, obviously, it's, it's hard work. Uh, you know, you got to work hard. you got to be dedicated to your craft. Uh, you got to listen. You know, pay attention, listen, and watch. Um, and and just, just have fun, you know. Bring energy and passion and... Um, and, I, and I'd really, you know, make sure that you really work on your skating. 
you know, your agility as a defenseman and how you pivot, how you skate backwards and all that stuff that comes with that. The better you skate, the uh, you know, more of an opportunity you're going to have. Let me slide with this one in quickly. Of today's current crop of NHL defensemen, who do you marvel at when you watch? Well, they played in Colorado, and number eight there is a pretty special player. I think he's going to be, uh, I think he's the uh, McDavid of defensemen. He's so exciting and electric to watch, and that's Kyle McCarr uh, in Colorado. So um, I think he's going to have uh, a lot of Norris trophies in his future, and he's uh, He's, you know, he's, he's so exciting to watch. And I mean, Colorado has a few of those players, but he's certainly uh, top of that list. Well, Ray, from a Habs fan, you were one of my favorite non-Habs fans players when I was watching the game. Thanks for taking the time to do this and look forward to seeing you perhaps again one day. Well, thank you, so do I.